By day I lambed her, the torch of life. There's a breathless hush in the close tonight. Ten to make and the match to win. A bumping pitch and a blinding light. An hour to play and the last man in. And it's not for the sake of a ribbon coat or the selfish hope of a season's fame. But his captain's hand on his shoulder smote. Play up, play up and play the game. The sand of the desert is sodden red, red with the wreck of a square that broke. The Gatling's jammed and the colonel dead, and the regiment blind with dust and smoke. The river of death has brimmed his bank, and England's power and honour remain. But the voice of a schoolboy rallies the ranks. Play up, play up, and play the game. This is the word that year by year, while in her place the school is set. Every one of her sons must hear, and none that hears it dare forget. This they all with a joyful mind, bear through life like a torch in flame, and falling fling to the host behind. Play up, play up, and play the game. The best school of all. It's good to see the school we knew, the land of youth and dream, to greet again the rule we knew before we took the stream. Though long we've missed the sight of her, our hearts may not forget. We've lost the old delight of her, we keep her honour yet. We'll honour yet the school we knew, the best school of all. We'll honour yet the rule we knew till the last bell call. For working days or holidays and glad or melancholy days. They were great days and jolly days at the best school of all. The stars and sounding vanities that half the crowd bewitch, what are they but inanities to him that treads the pitch? And where's the wealth I'm wondering could buy the cheers that roll when the last charge goes thundering beneath the twilight gold? The men that tend the hide of us, our daily foes and friends, they shall not lose their pride of us, however the journey ends. Their voice to us who sing of it no more its message bears, but the round world shall ring with it, and all we are be theirs. To speak of fame, of venturies, those little here can bide, that we may face the centuries and dare the deepening tide. For though the dust that's part of us, the dust again be gone, yet here shall beat the heart of us, the school we handed on. We'll honour yet the school we knew, the best school of all. We'll honour yet the rule we knew, till the last bell call. For working days or holidays, and glad or melancholy days. They were great days and jolly days, at the best school of all. He fell among thieves. Ye have robbed, said he. Ye have slaughtered and made an end. Take your ill-got thunder and bury the dead. What will ye more of your guest and sometime friend? Blood for our blood, they said. He laughed. If one may settle the score for five, I am ready. But let the reckoning stand till day. I have loved the sunlight as dearly as any alive. You shall die at dawn, said they. He flung his empty revolver down the slope. He climbed alone to the eastward edge of the trees. All night long in a dream untroubled of hope, he brooded, clasping his knees. He did not hear the monotonous roar that fills the ravine where the Yassine River sullenly flows. He did not see the starlight on the Lasper hills or the far Afghan snows. He saw the April noon on his books aglow, the wisteria trailing in at the window wide. He heard his father's voice from the terrace below, calling him down to ride. He saw the grey little church across the park, the mounds that hide the loved and honoured dead, 
The Norman arch, the chancel softly dark, the brasses black and red. He saw the school close, sunny and green, the runner beside him, the stand by the parapet wall, the distant tape and the crowd roaring between his own name over all. He saw the dark wainscot and timbered roof, the long tables and the faces merry and keen, the college eight and their trainer dining aloof, the dons on the days serene. He watched the liner's stem ploughing the foam. He felt her trembling speed and the thrash of her screw. He heard her passengers' voices talking of home. He saw the flag she flew. And now it was dawn. He rose strong on his feet and strode to his ruined camp below the wood. He drank the breath of the morning, cool and sweet. His murderers round him stood. Light on the Lasper hills was broadening fast. The blood-red snow peaks chilled to a dazzling white. He turned and saw the golden circle at last, cut by the eastern height. O oh, glorious life, who dwellest in earth and sun, I have lived, I praise and adore thee. A sword swept. Over the pass, the voices, one by one, faded and the hill slipped. Drake's drum. Drake, he's in his hammock and a thousand mile away. Captain not asleep in there below. Slung between the round shot in Nombre Dios Bay and dreaming all the time of Plymouth Hoe. Yonder looms the island, yonder lie the ship. With sailor lads a-dancing heel and toe And the shore lights flashing And the night tide dashing He sees it all so plainly As he saw it long ago Drake, he was a Devon man And ruled the Devon seas Captain of the sleeping there below A roving though his death fell He went for heart at ease And dreaming all the time of Plymouth Hoe Take me drum to England Hang it by the shore Strike it when your powder's running low. If the dawn sight Devon, I'll quit the port of heaven and drum them up the channel as we drummed them long ago. Drake, he's in his hammock till the great armadas come. Captain Arthur sleeping there below. Slung between the round shot, listening for the drum and dreaming all the time of Plymouth Hoe. Call him on the deep sea, call him up the sound, call him when you sail to meet the foe, where the old trade's flying and the old flag flying, they shall find him where and wicked as they found him long ago.